NWSC, Santa. This is my father's ducal signet. I'm Paul Moati Atreides, Duke of Arrakis. Erule Dina Ashilani, Nelisan Al Kaim, Roy Demon Aluk, Ashi Okay, as you can see, the Doom Brain Rot is still on me. I just. I can't escape this movie. I love it so much. Unfortunately, we are covering the trailer for HBO Max's original series, Dune Prophecy. And I'm not gonna lie, going off this first teaser, I didn't like it. I think this show looks really cheap. And in many ways, it's amplified my fears about the Dune franchise moving forwards. And what I mean by that is once Mon Ami Denny Villeneuve leaves the franchise after Dune Messiah, I don't see the future for the Doom franchise going well unless Denny Villeneuve is at the helm of this in some way, shape or form because Denny Villeneuve is attached to this as a producer but I also feel like he doesn't have much of an input in the show. I mean, just you look at the aesthetics of this trailer. I don't see Denny Villeneuve's influence on this at all. You think I'm stupid enough to deprive myself of the best of us? Going off the trailer, Dune Prophecy looks like how I imagine the Kevin J. Anderson and Brian Herbert Dune books to feel like. I haven't read those books. I've only read Dune, Dune Messiah, and Children of Dune. But from what I've heard from Dune fans on the internet, those books aren't that great. And going off the trailer for Dune Prophecy, I think Kevin J. Anderson and Brian Herbert are involved in this series. I can kind of see why those books aren't well beloved. This looks cheap. This feels like it's going, oh hey, you've seen Dune. Look at the shields. Oh hey, look at all these effects. Look at all the psychedelic natures. Here's Harkonnens. Here's House Carino. It's kind of like, okay, but where's the tangibility? Where's the substance? Where is the, you know, aesthetic of Denis Villeneuve? I know this is meant to take place in the past or whatever, the future past. You know what I mean if you know about Dune, but it doesn't feel right. Going off the aesthetics, from a budget point of view, this looks like the sci-fi miniseries with just a bit more budget. And the problem is with the sci-fi miniseries is that I own the first series, I don't own Children of Dune, but I own the first series that adapts the first book of Dune. And the reason why I haven't watched Frank Herbert's Dune, the sci-fi miniseries, is the fact that I've seen clips from it on the internet and I don't like it. I don't like the look of it, I don't like the acting, the actor that plays Paul is way too old, the aesthetics look really cheesy and corny, granted it's a TV budget from the early 2000s and it's got early 2000s CGI, but I don't like it. It, it, it doesn't gel with me. I saw the Gom Jabbar scene and I was like, what is this? This, this is worse than the David Lynch film. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a look at the show one day, but just going off the looks I've seen from the sci-fi miniseries, I don't like it. And going off the trailer for Doom Prophecy, it's giving me a similar vibe. 10,000 years before the birth of Paul Atreides. Oh, oh I know Paul Atreides. That's, uh, that's more deep. That's the listener of Gaib. I'm pointing the way. We founded a sisterhood. The cinematography there, it's trying really hard to look like Denis Villeneuve. But it just doesn't look like Denis Villeneuve and Greg Fraser's work. It just, it feels like they're trying so hard to replicate it, but it just looks so cheap. Throughout the Imperium. I don't like a lot of the psychedelic visuals. They just look really cheap and like, oh yeah, we put some, you know, digital effects into After Effects and we're using stock footage and then, ooh, look at the psychedelic. No, that's not what Denis Villeneuve Mon Ami did. Mon Ami has a very specific style. And if the show wants to emulate that, they're not doing it very well. And look, the concept of a Benny Gesserit TV show is interesting. The idea of the Benny Gesserit trying to breed the Queers of Haderach and such. That's cool. The idea of the missionary of Prospectiva and them spreading it across the universe. That's cool. But as of right now, from the look of this first teaser, I don't like the look of this show. <laughs> And look, Mark Strong's in this. I love Mark Strong. I think Mark Strong is a fantastic actor. Assigned to the great houses to help them sift truth from lies. Every time I see him in a project, I think he elevates the material. I think he's a fantastic performer. And I can't wait to see him as he's a Carino in the show or something. But the uniform looks off. The uniform looks cheap. Like, I know they're trying to go for the fascistic Atreides uniform and they're trying to apply it to the Carinos and such. But just in the way it's shot, the way it's lit. It looks cheap. The set behind him looks cheap. This whole show just screams cheap cash in. We're Harkonnens. So this is how we'll survive. By being Harkonnens. Okay, yeah, I've watched Doom Part 2 too many times. You can see the Doom brain rot has like settled in my brain. I just can't stop quoting that film. 
Even the glimpses we see of the shield effect, it doesn't look right. I, I know it might be them trying to go, oh yeah, it's not the shield as we know them yet. We're just, you know, trying to digress the technology so that when you get to the Villeneuve film, you can see the more advanced version of the shields, but it just looks cheap. God, they couldn't even get the logo right. That's not what the Dune logo looks like. Look, it's just a teaser. For all I know, this show is fantastic. You can't always judge the quality of a show based off its imagery, but then also, I don't know, sometimes you can. Like, the first season of Game of Thrones is not my favourite looking thing, but it still looks, you know, professional. It still looks clean. It still looks aesthetic. I don't know, there's just something about this whole project that just seems off to me. I just... I don't like it, I don't vibe with it, but I think the biggest fear that this trailer has given me, and it's instilled it deep within me now, is that once Denis Villeneuve has finished Doom Messiah and leaves the franchise to go off and do whatever he wants to do, when Warner Brothers eventually tries to find an heir to, you know, surpass Denis Villeneuve and so they can do Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics and Chapter House, they will find someone to try and finish the rest of the Dune saga, but the thing is, Dune is Denis Villeneuve, Denis Villeneuve's passion that's the guy, that's who you want to do Dune. Now Denis Villeneuve has even said, oh yeah, he will try and find an heir to surpass him eventually. But even still, it's like, I only really trust Denis Villeneuve with Dune. Lead them to paradise. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, the way the trailer is presented, the ideas are interesting, the idea of the Benny Jesser and stuff, like, that's all cool, their mission, the actors look really good, it's just the overall vibe and aesthetic, I'm not impressed. The thing is, too, I'm curious to know the budget of the show, because, I mean, you look at this show and you compare it to something like House of the Dragon, it looks cheap, House of the Dragon looks excellent for its budget, so what happened here? But then also part of me is just like, where's the Fremen? Where's Paul? Where's all this stuff? Where's all the stuff that I recognize and love from Dune? And I don't mean that in the sense of like, oh, key jangling member berries. I mean like, Paul Atreides is an interesting character. The Fremen is an interesting culture and all the Fremen characters are interesting. I'm not getting a lot from this trailer apart from, oh, Benny Jesuit whispering, you know, hiding behind the shadows, plotting the stuff through the Imperium in between the shadows and stuff. Like, that's all there. But what else? But also the imagery is just throwing me off like how do you go from Denis Villeneuve and Greg Frazier to this? It's kind of like, you really expect me to take this seriously? Like, no. But who knows? Maybe the show is fantastic. Maybe it's great. Maybe I'm being too presumptuous and being like, oh, this show is not going to be great and stuff. I will see how the rest of the trailers play out. I am curious to see what the rest of the show will look like. Again, I'm waiting for a longer trailer. Maybe the next trailer will blow me away and I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll check this out. It may be curious to hear my side of the story, don't you think? It may be curious to hear my side of the story, don't you think? I am Paul Atreides, son of Leto Atreides, Duke of Arrakis. Come on, man, Duke Part 2 is so good. Timmy, my boy, mwah. Like, again, the acting is very good in this, but like, where's Chalamet? Where's Rebecca Ferguson? Where's Javi Bardem? Like, give me the things that I love, like, that's Dune to me. But yeah, to wrap things up, Dune Prophecy to me looks like a cheap cash-in, and I am kind of worried about the Dune franchise going forward. But those are just my thoughts on the trailer. Maybe I'm being too presumptuous. Maybe I'm being too hasty. What do you guys think of the trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, follow on social media, all the good stuff. Until we meet again, I'll see you guys next time. And I'm Santa!